This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. John Quincy Adams, the writer of the following letters, is widely known as one of the purest and most eminent men of our age. Born in 1767, during the fierce and absorbing discussions of the rights and responsibilities of rulers which heralded our revolution and war of independence, he entered his country's service, while yet a mere lad, as secretary to the Russian embassy, and remained through life, with few and brief intermissions, a public servant, filling successively the posts of secretary, ambassador, United States senator, negotiator of the last treaty of peace with Great Britain, secretary of state, president, and finally representative in Congress, which station he filled from 1831 to the hour of his death, which took place in the capital, February 23, 1848, he having been stricken down with paralysis while in the act of rising to address the house two days before. Having lived more than eighty years and passed nearly or quite three-fourths of his days in public stations, though naturally reserved and diffident in manner, and never in the obvious sense a popular man, for his life was devoted to serving rather than pleasing his countrymen, he was profoundly and generally esteemed for his fearless conscientiousness, his ardent patriotism, his vast and various acquirements, and his unfaltering devotion to human freedom. The funeral honors paid to his memory have had no parallel in this country except in the case of Washington. Those who had seen fit to oppose his election and to defeat his re-election as president and to whom he had generally stood opposed in party differences seemed to vie with his warmest supporters in rendering homage to his memory.